Hey YouTube, what's going on here? Just wanted to uh, do another video and coming at you live today from the lovely Oregon coast. I am I'm right now at an Oregon State Park and this is a free uh, park, picnic, boat launch. It's at a, uh, at a lake here. Really quiet place. I think I'm like, there's only one other person here right now. I got the whole place to myself. So I wanted to do a video today talking about why did I choose a truck camper over any other type of RV? Um, well, quite a few, quite a few reasons. Um, I wanted something that I could live in comfortably full time and also, um, also work full time in work full time or part time. So I needed something that was going to be comfortable. And uh, when I first looked into this, uh, I was deciding between either a van, a cargo van, or a truck camper. So I ended up going with the truck camper mostly just because of the, uh, the creature comforts and being able to be comfortable being able to stand up, being able to take a shower. Um, I can do everything I need to do right inside this small space. So that was primarily my, my reason for, for, uh, for that. Um, and then I'll also be going into some of the disadvantages of the truck camper and then also the advantages and in that comparing them to other types of RVs. Um, so for, for me, uh, I'm unique. I'm uh, six foot six tall. So for me, a lot of these RVs uh, you go into, and even the, the truck campers, there's very few manufacturers that make truck campers with interior ceiling heights of uh, six foot eight. The one that I'm in right now, uh, it has a six foot eight interior height ceiling. So when I have my shoes on, I can stand up fully and not whack my head on the, uh, on the ceiling uh, or even the air conditioner. So that was a requirement. I wanted to be able to stand up in it comfortably, so uh, I selected one for that. Um, another, another issue with a lot of these RVs is the bed length, the queen size beds. Uh, a lot of them are only, like they're under 80 inches uh, in, in length, okay? So that wasn't going to work for me. Um, so the, the truck camper, they have some of the uh, largest beds in the RV industry as far as, as, far as what I know, uh, unless you get into some of these big class A's that have, uh, you know, some of the fold down beds and that sort of a thing. You can, I think some of them even have king beds. Um, but I, my, the bed that I have in mine is a standard queen dimension. It's 80 inches long by whatever the, the, uh, the width is, it's a standard dimension. And uh, so I've got that. And then um, as far as setup goes, there is no setup with the truck camper in comparison to like say a van where you have to uh, dismantle the bed and you know turn it into a uh, the dinette. There is none of that that you have to do with the, the truck camper. The bed is it's fixed. If I want to go to sleep, I go to sleep. I don't have to take anything apart. If I want to have a meal, I can sit down at my table and have a meal. And uh, same thing with the bathroom and everything. So uh, that's definitely a bonus uh, in comparing it to uh, a lot of the vans out there, you know, some of the Class B vans. Um, so that's one nice thing. Another nice thing that I wanted was I wanted uh, something to be able to disengage it from, wanted to be able to disengage my vehicle from the RV. So uh, if you want to do that, your two choices are truck camper or travel trailer. And I didn't want to go with a travel trailer because I wanted something that was compact and uh, short length, small footprint with all of the amenities of uh, a larger motorhome. And the truck camper was the solution there. Um, the travel trailers, you know, they're they're tricky to get into parking lots and uh, get turned around and backed in and, and leveling. And I'm going to go in and discuss some of these things uh, more in the advantages. So those are uh, those are those are a few a few of the reasons. So it allows me to be able to uh, unload it, and I can unload this thing in about 10 minutes time. 
And then I've got my truck where I can go to work. I can go uh, to the store and get, you know, go shopping, get groceries or what have you. And I can leave the RV somewhere else. I don't have to carry it around with me all, all of the time. And um, this truck camper is set up so that I can live in it off of the truck. So it'll just support itself on the jack stands, the electric jacks that are on it. And um, so that's, you know, that's great as well. Um, so I'll go in and talk about some of the disadvantages and the advantages. Um, I guess the, you know, the, 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 one of the disadvantages is that uh, there's separate uh, driving compartment from the living compartment. So, um, you know, when you're as far from standpoint of uh, security, you know, some people that bothers them because if there's uh, something, uh, some type of an event happening outside they don't want any part of and they want to leave immediately, well, if you're inside the, uh, the, the truck camper, you have to exit it to get to the driving compartment to leave the scene. Um, so going into that, um, I have a, uh, an anti-theft device on my truck that prevents anyone from stealing the truck. So I would highly recommend that to any, uh, any uh, truck camper person that uh, you have a way to uh, have anti-theft on your truck so that when you're in the, in the truck, no one can steal it uh, while you're inside. Um, and that pretty, if you do that, then that pretty much eliminates that problem of, uh, you know, theft occurring while you're inside. Um, so another disadvantage is, is uh, driving on back roads in the mountains and in the national forest. You know, this is uh, right now my art, my truck camper sits about 12 feet in height from from the ground up to to the top of the air conditioner. I'm about 12 feet tall, so that limits me to being able to go out in the back roads. And that's kind of been something I'm wanting to do right now is go out into the national forest and uh, drive around and explore. But, um, you know, without having branches uh, take out the air conditioner, that's not really going to be a great idea. So um, that's one disadvantage. Um, and that's where a van, you know, clearly is the winner is when you want to go out and do more uh, more exploring and that sort of a thing out in the mountains and driving on the back roads a, a van is definitely a better vehicle for that um, another disadvantage I don't think I've talked about yet is the being stealth and uh, camping in the or overnighting in the city um, you know that's uh, kind of tricky to do with a uh, with a truck camper. You sort of stick out like a sore thumb, and even some of these Class Bs, not all of them, they stick out as well. But with a uh, with a cargo van, you uh, you're able to be stealth, and uh, you're able to you know go under the radar. Well, I'm not really able to do that too well with uh, with the, with the truck camper. So that's definitely a uh, a disadvantage. Um, so some of the advantages. I've already talked about there's no setup inside. Um, being able to unload the RV from the truck, that's a huge advantage for a lot of reasons. Uh, say you want to do some repairs to either the, the camper or the truck, you can take them apart. You know, you can divorce, you can divorce and, and take them apart and uh, have your truck in the shop for a while while you're still be able to live in your, in your uh, camper. Uh, or say, you know, you, uh, you want to upgrade and uh, you want to either upgrade your truck or you want to upgrade your truck camper, you have the ability to do that as well. So, you know, these people that have, uh, you know, the Class A's and the, and the Class uh, C's, they're, you know, they're not able to do that. They're pretty much stuck with what they have. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, you start getting into the resale and all this. You know, truck campers typically hold their value uh, pretty good. Uh, in comparison to other RVs as well, because of that advantage, because they don't have any drivetrain or, uh, you know, no mechanical uh, parts, you know, they can just be taken right off. Um, another thing is insurance. Insurance can be cheap or, and then, you know, a lot of times uh, you don't, you know, you don't have to have uh, insurance if you don't want to have it. You know, it's not like a, a class B or C or A where you have to have insurance on it. You know, it's got wheels underneath it. So you don't have to insure it if you don't want to. So that's, that gives you more freedom right there. Um, and then the other uh, advantage would be having all of the amenities that uh, these larger motorhomes have in a very compact space and footprint. 
Um, in my truck camper, I have all the amenities that uh, these, these Class A's and Class C's have. I've got TV, I've got shower, I've got a large freezer and refrigerator in a, uh, you know, in a 10 foot two uh, footprint. <laughs> so uh, that's a huge advantage. I mean, huge. I mean, the bed, I've got a you know, large bed and everything. So I'm clearly sold there that uh, in that regard of having, you know, all of the amenities in a very small footprint uh the truck camper wins. And another thing that I've seen as an, as an advantage for the truck camper and that I've experienced myself is leveling. Uh, leveling is, uh, is a piece of cake with the truck camper. A lot of times you don't even need to level the, uh, the truck camper. You can level if you want. You can put the jack stands down. You can put two jack stands down in the rear. You don't have to put them all down. You can just put two down the rear and level out the back if you want or at least stabilize it from rocking. You can do that or you don't have to. Uh, you know, a lot of the times when I overnight, I don't I don't put any jacks down. I just drive up, I get, you know, I find where it's level and then I'm done. You know, where the, uh, the people with the travel trailers and the motor homes and the fifth wheels, they are they're out there leveling and putting blocks and, you know, and all this and disengaging. And, you know, uh, I can get up in the morning and within, you know, uh, five minutes of time, I can be gone and out. I'm done. You know, I don't have to, I don't have to take all the stuff down and blocks and leveling. And I have some, I have some leveling blocks if I want to drive up on the front wheels and level it out if I want, but I never use them, you know? So to me, that's just, uh, another, you know, simple thing of keeping, uh, Keeping keeping it simple, keeping it simplistic, you know, and not uh, having to get too uh, too technical with everything. So those are some of the advantages and the disadvantages. And if you have some questions, uh, please comment down below, and I will definitely answer them. And uh, or or if you know you'd like me to do a video talking about one talking about a topic, uh, put it down there, and I'll definitely uh, see what I can do. All right, YouTube, you have an awesome day. Take care.